To start out, here's a look at Malik in his traditional rover spot, and he's split out from the formation to the boundary to match that second receiver. The back's set in the field, so a run's most likely going into the boundary, and so Todd Orlando sends his guys slanting toward the boundary, and you got PJ Locke blitzing from the field to clean up the backside. As the play gets going, you see some great movement and penetration from the defensive front. Chris Nelson makes it all the way to the boundary B-gap, and Malik's sitting in great position to read and flow with the back. The back cuts it back inside, Malik folds inside, and boom. Linebacker things are happening, folks. Good job, Malik, and good job, Big Daddy Chris Nelson. Up front, we got a four-man pressure with a blitz from Gary Johnson. The back's set in the boundary, so he's likeliest to run out to the field side, so the pressure's going to slant to the field side to cut him off if he does that. On the boundary, you've got basic quarters coverage. Chris Boyd's got the receiver. Deshaun Elliott's got his eyes on the tight end. And Nashawn Hughes is going to drop into underneath coverage to help out. On the field side, it's two read quarters, with Holton Hill and Brandon Jones taking deep responsibility on the twin receivers to that side. Hill's got all the number one guy outside unless the slot breaks out, and if he does, Hill will jump that out, and then Jones will roll over the top of number one. Anthony Wheeler's dropping to the middle of the field to take on any crossing routes, but what about Malik? Malik gets to be a pure space player here, where he can read run pass and come down to serve as the force man on a run, but if it's a pass read, he'll wall off the number two and carry him up vertically to the safety, but he'll come off if there's a threat heading into the flat. As the play gets going, it's a pass read, but the key thing here is what the tight end's doing. He's breaking shallow underneath, so Deshaun Elliott releases him and starts looking for work. Now he could roll deep to his side to help out Boyd, but in this case, he's rolling to the field side, so he can rob underneath something like a deep dig or a deep post from that slot on the field side. Malik's carrying that slot vertically, but his head's on a swivel, and sure enough, he sees the tight end on the way to his coverage, so he releases the slot, comes downhill, and bang. This makes me happy in my pants, and I'm not afraid to say it. One thing I did not like on this play was Brandon Jones' footwork. He's got to keep inside leverage on number two and squeeze anything that goes to the out like a deep out or a corner. But he falls for this little rocker step, he drifts outside, and then he has to do a damn baseball turn to get back into the play. Against Sam Darnold, that is a shot to the post. And now I think I know why Elliott was rolling to help out the field side. Here's another look at Malik basically playing P.J. Locke's nickel roll with Anthony Wheeler and Gary Johnson as the Mac and the Rover in the box. Now this set from San Jose State's got the back to the field, tight end to the boundary, and then the H-back motions over to serve as a second blocker to the edge. And all that spells a real danger of getting yourself out leveraged on a boundary run. So Orlando's blitzing and slanting the D-line into the boundary. Malik's free to loop inside and hit the B-gap because Brandon Jones is outside as a free hitter who can serve as the force guy. At the snap, surprise, it's a counter. But Gary Johnson reads the counter action and flows immediately towards the ball. Roach nearly gets his man in the backfield, but Malik kicks ass here. He fights through two guys to get a piece of the ball. Gary Johnson might have overpursued here, but with the run action from the tight ends, Chris Boyd is free to come down and be the cleanup man on any kind of cutback stuff, so I wouldn't scold Johnson too hard. We also got to see Malik do his thing inside the box, getting featured on this play as a blitzer. Once the back motions out to the boundary, Anthony Wheeler shifts over and Texas has a cover two look going to the boundary with Holton Hill playing the flat, Deshaun Elliott with the deep half, and Wheeler carrying the slot up to the safety. To the field side, it's man covered straight across with Nashawn Hughes carrying up against a quick slant from the inside guy and cutting any crossers coming from the outside. Orlando sends one of his patented overload pressures with Malik firing into the B-gap and Chris Nelson looping wide outside to contain. We don't quite get the contain, but in fairness to Chris, that action would have been called a hold against us, at least by the Maryland crew. But this is still a terrific job by Malik running down a serious athlete in space. If I had any Serengeti Predator sounds loaded on this thing, I'd be playing them right now. Finally, we've got some great traditional linebacking work with some read, some flow, and getting up and saying, oh, hell no. Malik saved points with this one, and it's the kind of physical authority that everybody's been wanting to see. Finally, we'd be remiss not to spotlight Malik's new partner in crime, Gary Johnson. 
Johnson's ability to do linebacking things from the rover spot can free up Malik to do Malik things all over the field. This plays a simple inside zone against a five-man box, but Johnson diagnoses it like a champ. He feels that the backside guard double-teaming Chris Nelson wants to work up to him, so Johnson shoots past that block, fires through the gap, and basically dominance humps the runner in the backfield. Here's another look at Johnson diagnosing fast and beating a blocker's path to get downhill and make a play. This time it's the center who's trying to climb off Nelson and cut him off, but Johnson sees it and gets on his horse. It helps that penetration scares the arc blocker into falling down, but Johnson's still on time and on target. We hope you enjoyed this Barking Carnival Studios production. Don't forget to hook them and free Malik. Thank you.